Hello everyone. I'm going to show you my outfit I'm wearing. I'm wearing a maroon shirt, a sheer, very sheer top. Is it too early? It's end of May to wear white? I don't think so. If you have nice legs like I do, why not wear it? So, and then I got my flip flops it, and they're pink, like my sheer shirt. So, that's my outfit. I got like 20 minutes to get ready for my makeup. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Our bedroom, don't mind it, in the back because we still haven't painted yet. So let's get started, okay? What do we do first? First we do... I'm just going to go fast. Mary Kay Eye Cream. I already did... I did my skincare routine in the shower. I wash my face. I use my um, rotating brush to exfoliate my skin. And when I put this on, I'm going above the eyebrow, all around the outside. So I don't want it to go in my eyes, but it will work its way there. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my moisturizer and I'm going to evenly distribute that all around the place wherever it gets dry so. let's get a little bit closer Oh, sorry. oh, it won't zoom. Okay, that's fine. We'll make it work, right? Okay, well, that's soaking in. I'm going to do this Rue Fancyful. It's called White Minx. It's a mousse, and it just puts a little bit of extra silver into your hair. And it holds it. Make it work, right? <laughs> I want it right here. Right where this white is. I'm going to make that silver. And then I'm going to do the ends here. I want the mousse. I'm going to try to make my hair a little bit curlier today. Boost. Right in here. Wait. Do this. And right here. gonna get this mousse on the ends because I want that to kind of flip up today make a more summer flip okay I got my my brush you know I love so that I, I don't have to put my hands up above my head Dana from Go Ritz and Brentwood Times Square because she is the best. 
And I'm just going to get a good haircut because I cut my hair a little bit myself. And it's just not right because I don't know how to cut hair. I just followed what she did before. Maybe I just added a little bit of chalkiness at the end. Just by going to the end. But... Time to get a good haircut again and then let it grow for a while. In the summer, it grows faster. I think that's what they say. Comment, let me know if you think it's true. going and then the hair will go and rest by itself when I'm ear dry because I that's why I want to go and her, get my hair cut because I have a lot of curling here in the back but in the front it goes straight I guess because it's heavier so why not use that to my advantage and get a haircut that's all layered here on the bottom and then just swoop it over on the top but I'm going for anyway Now, where's that comb I had? Oh, yeah. Now, if I get this right, everything else will fall into place. Yeah. Whoop. A little bit done that way, like at an angle. I'm sorry. Okay, we'll let that cool now. This is called Ivory C300. It's going to cover up this redness like a, fun, like a concealer. on this. Okay. CC cream because it's sheer. Let's see, it's very light. some dark in my eyes so I'm gonna put this orange it's called let me look what it's called um under eye corrector and that's what I need an under eye corrector stipple it in oh see this eye better Stipple it in. Use your weakest finger.
down to business. I know I'm getting over 20 minutes now. That's right. Start flipping up. Naturally. See? It's damp on the bottom. I let that flip up. I got a very thin face, so I want fullness here on the side. So I try to go like this. <laughs> See? Okay. Get back to business. Mm, let's do our eyeliner first. Got this new eyeliner from Mary Kay. It's a gel. Comes with a brush. And dip a little bit in. Go like this. Off to each side. Then I'm going to tight line it in there. Can you see that? It's a beautiful day today. What I want to tell you, I was thinking about this morning. When I was in college and I learned time management, some of the things that I learned was that for time management, you have to make a plan. You have to have a goal, first of all. And that goes on top, is your goal. Along with a reward. Then, underneath that, it's like a step ladder. You're going to get to the top. Underneath that, you're going to have the exact step-by-step -step plan to get there. So, and then you just start from the foundation and build your way up. That's the plan. Time management. And every time you hit that goal, whether it be a, whether you're cleaning, household cleaning, and you want to get the whole house ready for a party, or whether you want to get a job and you need to get resume and um, school transcripts stuff together, or um, let's see, you want to go on a vacation. You have to um, make plans, like maybe you want to work overtime to make extra money to put it away, and then you go on a vacation. That's your reward. Or you get a job, and you reward yourself with the money that you get. So maybe take a vacation or buy yourself a new car. Um, for that party, you reward yourself. You buy yourself a brand new outfit. So that's just a very simple version of what I'm talking about. So, that's what I want to talk about with you today. I'm glad you're here with me. If anybody's there, I hope so. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And then I'm going to put the mascara on. Waterproof. Of course, Mary Kay. Lash Love Waterproof Mascara. It doesn't matter how old you are. You should have goals. And things, I gotta take these tags off. I gotta find scissors. I got new underclothes. So. Got that. There. Then I'm gonna go back in and do the tip. Look straight ahead. 
where that eyelash I'm going to go. Put that on and then connect it. There. Connect it. Close your eye and connect that line. Perfect. Put that lid up on it. Then you want to go in. nice angle brush. Take a dark matte color and blend that in. Soften the line. This is called a London Fog and it's dark and it's matte, but it's not black. But it's still dark enough to blur in that line. And then you want to take your crease brush and you want to dab it straight in. Then you want to go straight in, into that crease. Pull it down through that loose skin. Dab it. Go right in there, in that crease. <laughs> Pull it down. When you look at your eye, you want to make sure you're going up, not down, not pulling your eyes down. An illusion that your eyes are way lifted. See? Way lifted. Blend that up. Okay? There you go. Blend that way up. And then Take your blending brush, last but not least. I'm going to take the blending brush and blend it all out. I'm going out in the daylight and sunshine, so you don't want any harsh, dark lines. Just make it natural. Mascara one more time. There we go. And take some of the stuff on the end. Right on the end. Look at that. Good. Now, eyebrows. My trick for eyebrows, if I can find my eyebrow pencil, put them this way while I'm looking. Here's my lid. I keep always keep it in this bag. Keep the pencil with it. There we go. Get that away. Tickets. This big, oh no, that ain't it. This big fluff brush. And set my eyes with it. And I always keep that in there so it's easy to find. And this is our translucent power. Also picks up any. All right, good. Any fallout. Now I'll clean this brush. <sighs> clean that later. Then I'm going to look 
get a little bit of color going here. And so I don't want to make my face look skinnier. So I'm trying to figure out how to just bring up my cheekbones. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that in. <laughs> A little bit more for under here. Up in here. Chin. And the nose. Something's missing. What is it? Yes, it's missing. Something just doesn't look finished. Right, eyebrows. Okay. I'm drawing this line first. I want it lifted up. Okay, drawing this line first. There we go. Now, you can't even see where my eyebrows actually go. Then, I'm just gonna go over top of the hairs. They go up and into a little bit of a point. Okay, this side. And they go up here, and they come back down. Okay, I don't want to do too much. Let's to connect it right here. Okay. this stuff I got it for Halloween actually to put the highlight under my eyes I was a witch so I did big big eyes and then I did this underneath so I'm just gonna use it to block out that shadow right there just on the end shadows from wrinkles <laughs> Ooh just kidding gotta be happy in your life yeah my mom used to always say think of the alternative of getting old that makes sense <laughs> okay we got some little brush here comb Don't try to get them the same, exactly the same. Eyebrows are not exactly the same. Don't even try. Okay, I'm done. Now, I always keep my, um, I always keep my lipstick and lip liner in my purse so I can reapply it. It looks a little bit too dark right there. It's pulling it down. So, mm, I want to use this brush again and this. It's all shadows and lights. I heard makeup artists say, go down along your face like that. See if it works. Pull it down along your nose. I'll supply a little bit here. We get older, we get like an indent there, he said. So 
so you highlight to bring that out so you don't look older. Oops, put a little bit too much on there. It's okay. See where my cheeks go up. Blend that in too. Stipple. 